I'd like to speak to you about why the objective norms of morality cannot be arrived at by consensus or popular vote. In the movie Chariots of Fire, a senior Protestant minister tells a young man that the kingdom of God is not a democracy. The man replies, ah, a dictatorship then, to which the pastor replies, yes, but a benign dictatorship. This concept seems to fly in the face of modern sensibilities. Since the beginning of the Enlightenment, the consensus in political circles has been that democracy is the best form of government. Some Catholics today ask, so why should the church cling to an outdated form of government? Why shouldn't the church become more enlightened and democratic? The answer is simple and straightforward. In the words of the Catechism, man is dependent on his creator and subject to the laws of creation and to the moral norms that govern the use of freedom. In other words, the natural law and divine revelation come from God, not from the will of the people. In his book, Called to Communion, Pope Benedict explained why objective truths cannot be arrived at by consensus. The Pope wrote, everything that men make can also be undone again by others. Everything that has its origin in human likes can be disliked by others. Everything that one majority decides can be revoked by another majority. A church based on human resolutions becomes a merely human church. It is reduced to the level of the makeable, of the obvious, of opinion. Opinion replaces faith. And in fact, in the self-made formulas of faith with which I am acquainted, the meaning of the words, I believe, never signifies anything beyond we opine. Friends, our faith is a faith in Christ. It has been divinely revealed to us. It is not merely an opinion or a consensus. And seldom has Christian faith been a reflection of a majority view. The church has always been countercultural. What seems sensible and fashionable today may be outdated and embarrassing tomorrow. The church is the body of Christ, and so must always authentically preach the gospel of Christ, regardless of which way cultural or political winds blow.